Welcome to Love Language. In this episode, we will be covering how having effective people skills is crucial to keeping and building relationships with others, how there is power in being an advocate for change, realness, and standing in your truth, how being an extrovert introvert may be interpreted by others, why deflecting toxic energies is essential, and how investing time in understanding others prevents judgment. So welcome back to Love Language, everybody. I am your host, Sol. Instagram, S-O-L-B-L-O-O-M underscore. And this is my special guest, Uriel. And your Instagram? It's uh, big U0124, B-I-G-U-0124. And this is dope because me and Uriel met at Amazon. Um, we used to work together for Prime Now in Silver Lake, mm -hmm. um, California. And uh, we were just discussing behind the scenes a little bit about our life in that building with management and different people. <laughs> that was, yeah, it's fun times, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's, it's been a while, right? How yeah. long has it been? Maybe like two years? It, oh, I feel like three, maybe? longer than that. Yeah, three, time, four years? Time flies, huh? Yeah, it really does. Nah, yeah, but we were just talking about some funny, <laughs> funny stories behind the scenes. And yeah, it's always a good time when I'm around here. So that's why I decided to show up. Oh, thank you, know? you man. I appreciate you, you know? And we, we're doing this pretty much because like I feel like I want to help people um, I feel like even when we used to have our conversations inside the warehouse I used to feel like I can come up to you with my heart on my sleeve and just talk to you about anything no, and um, that's why I want to do these because I want people to know you know don't 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 feel a certain way or feel bad about um, being honest and open with your emotions and verbal about it you know yeah, um, and it, right. it's okay so if you have things that you want to talk about that you feel like you can't talk about with others or you kind of want to work on your own um, um, your own voice and you want to speak up for yourself if you want to like do that I kind of want this is kind of what why I want to do this that's the point of to get people that platform and that push like yeah. hey like we all go through things and um, as long as we're speaking from our heart and making things better you know and and growing each day you know maybe this might help someone else be able to do that so that's kind of why I started okay. this because I kind of feel like I've always been a natural caregiver yeah, yeah, yeah. A natural like healer, someone you can come to, and we actually walk away from the conversation feeling great. And that's how I felt when I would talk to you at the warehouse. You're right. That's what came. <laughs> that up, that's what came. Up, sometimes. That's like. what came to my head right now. You're like when you're saying that this is the point of like this podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait, the dopest conversations was that when you were just come and tell me like it's like oh, for example, I don't know if you remember, you probably don't, but I remember you were telling me all the stuff you did. For example, like, oh man, yeah, I got my car, or I did this, and I saved up all this. And I'd be like, man, this, this chick is dope. Like, she's yeah. about her stuff. Like, she's so young. I'm pretty sure you're younger than me. And I was like, man, she's getting all her shit together. Aww. She's doing all this. And it, it like, it, you noticed that? Yeah, that's so sweet. It, mot Aww. it motivated me. And then it made me think, like, man, there's other people that are about it. And then, I mean, I'm not against like having fun, you know, like smoking or drinking here and then, but yeah. I love that you were kind of about it. Like first things first, uh, you, you have Business to say, yeah, first. <laughs> You're and, uh, right. Like, and I remember that vividly, like thinking like, and it's crazy how you bring it back now that you're like, you kind of want to make people, people feel comfortable yeah. talking about it. Yeah. And that's a good thing because a lot of people aren't comfortable about it. And that's why it's crazy how you felt comfortable with me and I felt comfortable with you in a way, you know? Yeah. It's weird, because I don't really talk to people like that either. So. Definitely, and I was sure. I was your manager, and yeah. the fact that you treated me like I wasn't your manager, and you treated me like like I wasn't equal to you, that yeah. made me like, yeah, like, he's dope. He's like, dope associate, good employee, like, good worker, and I didn't even see you like that. I seen you as an actual friend, like someone that I bonded with, you yeah. know? And we seen each other as equals, so it just made it even more special for me, too you know i completely agree and and that, that's that's looking back then i didn't think about it like that but now thinking back it's like man you were my manager how come how come i was so cool with you you know right it, it doesn't it's like oh that's my manager i should be a little bit you know intimidated maybe or not wanting to talk to her but right i guess it's just your vibe i don't know and that's what goes into our topic you know that right there like how how looks and and how how they can be deceiving as to how how I appear and how yeah. I perceive myself and how others may see you. Like, exactly what you said, that goes right into our topic. Definitely. Looks and how they can be deceiving. Um, 
like I was saying before, a little yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah. And I was saying, like, you know, you see me now, and I look different than when you met me. Yeah. And I was talking about how people might see me a different way right now, even though I'm still that same person. Like, that people used to be like, oh, man, this dude's about working out. This dude's got his stuff together. He's going to school, or blah, blah, blah. And then you see me now, you might think, oh, look, look at this fat dude, you know? He doesn't work out. Or maybe he works out once, once in a while. Now, I've been working out, like, four or five times. I've been on my stuff. But, you know, people won't see that straight away. Until yeah. they get to talk to you, like you said, yeah. which is why it's cool that you have this platform that you want people to get more comfortable mm -hmm. getting to know each other before they do that little judge. Definitely. But um, Definitely. I, I still think, you know, sometimes it's true. You, you can't see certain aspects at just first glance. So what about you? Definitely. Yeah? And you're right. And that's why that's why I mentioned this regarding to how we met, because you think, oh, he's supposed to fear me because I'm his manager or talk to me a certain way or whatever. Like he was completely his self completely his genuine self and for me I was like that is good finally somebody sees me for who I am you know because here they see this little I think I was 21 22 must have been man because you were younger than me and I was yeah. only 24 yeah. 23 yeah. here's this little 22 year old manager and I have to like you know listen to her and like when she does come up to me and just says hello it's usually just to check on people and say hello yeah, yeah. i don't come up to them and be like here's a write-up and other stuff mm -hmm. i'm like here i just generally like walk around saying hello and like oh but you have a wall up because i'm a manager and you perceive me as being like this snob or someone who's a typical you know the typical oh, manager yeah. idea people put on i'm like the sweetest manager yeah like not even tripping on nothing like <laughs> i'm just like as long as y'all working yeah, do yeah, what yeah. I do, you know and they didn't they didn't see that some of them didn't see that because they just already prejudged me, you know, and thought that I was just, just because I am that, that's who I am. And it's definitely was not. And this no. guy seen that, like, yeah, it was no. amazing. I noticed it right away, but I don't, I don't know. I guess maybe it was the first stand-up. Remember we used to do this thing called stand-up? Yeah. Where they introduced themselves. And when she was there, she was so sweet. I'm like, okay, she's not going to be an a-hole, you know? So yeah. I could probably talk to her here and there. And then, yeah. you know, once we did, like you said, I don't know why it was, but I feel like I had like a cool little bond with you. Yeah. You know, just and then, like that. It also goes into like, you know, how I am. Like, I, I guess first off, since people see that I'm mixed, mm -hmm. I am an African American and I am white. Um, and then they, they see me firsthand, like she takes care of herself. She dresses nice, yeah. um, might, you know, drives a nice car, whatever it is. Right. They see, oh, she might, she looks rich. I, yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, little, little am, things like that. I'm in no shape or form rich, let me no, tell you. Okay, yeah. I just take care of what I have, and I'm a thrift shopper. I'm very thrifty with my money, and, you know, I'm very, like, what deal can I get here? What can I make stretch, you know, and what can I make work? Like, my shirt is, like, it looks like it's from some kind of designer type it looks nice, situation. Man. But it's literally from, what, Salvation Army, like, two bucks. Yeah, man, she that. dressed like, to the dimes, but she knows where to get it, see? You know? I, I wouldn't. That's just me, you know? Yeah. But you know. You yeah. know how to get cool stuff without having to spend money on it, you know? Right. Which like, is dope. I, and I like that. Like, even, like, the table, certain things, it's like I'll go somewhere and see something for, like, the low and get it. And I'm like, that's yeah. great. A, a old school vintage store or something like that. So a lot of people, they see me and they think right off back, oh, she's, you yeah. know, high she class, be. prestigious. Um, she looks like she, you know, is well put together. She must be a certain way. You know, I, um, some people are intimidated to approach me because of that preconceived oh, yeah, notion. Yeah, for sure. And when they do, the people that are, the few people that are brave enough to say something or say hello, when they do approach me, those people figure out, oh, she's really sweet. Like, yeah. kind, you know, um, not an asshole, not a stuck up, you know, a stuck up pretty girl. Yeah, you know, yeah. she's really sweet and kind and very approachable. She's down to earth, not, yeah. not all stuck up or... Right, know, so that's how I see me. You know, yeah. I know who I am, you, you know, know but they're looking at me like, oh. yeah, I'm like, okay, well... Shoot, if I were to have seen you and not known you, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I definitely can't talk to her. She's, right. She might be, uh, you know, stuck up or something yeah. like that. And but. it's something that even when people open their mouth, right, like you'll see a beautiful girl or like a nice nice well looking guy right mm -hmm. and you'll be staring like okay wait like, they look nice right yeah. but when they open their mouth you're like you shouldn't even open your yeah, mouth yeah <laughs> most definitely you the <laughs> yeah you know what met. that's true 1000 percent true you know you, you can know? it could be a good looking cat or like a girl that's pretty or something like that and then next thing you know you hear them talking you're like man i 
I cannot even vibe with this person. It's like, you know what? I'm just gonna step away. Yeah. And like not talk to this person because it's boring. Or they just ignorant. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't exactly. know the worst. I guess ignorant would be the best thing. Exactly. Someone that's ignorant. Like guess. you can look all this and have yeah. like the latest designer on, the latest Gucci, the latest whatever it is on. Yeah. But when I step to you and you you start speaking and opening your mouth, it's not like it's not it's not I would say it's not what I would say it's what you're saying and how you're saying it. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like what you're saying that's coming out of your mouth. Because some people don't know how to spell certain words, but when they speak, they're very intelligent. And they're that's very, true. You know, so. Yeah, they speak very well. You know, and yeah. as long as you, like, you're speaking very well and you're respectful and, like, you're being yourself and being genuine. Someone can pick up right away if you're yourself or you're just being someone else. Definitely. Yeah, that's you know? true. When, you, when you're, like, not being yourself, for example, for you, like, when you weren't being yourself at work, you could kind of tell. Yeah. Tell. Like, yeah. That's not, what days is there sometimes when I would, what would I be going through? I, yeah, see, I, you would be, you might be going through something and you might not be being yourself. But yeah. I, I, would, I don't know. I just was like, oh man, she seems like she's not like yeah. herself today. Yeah. Or a little bit off. Like you might be, I don't know, everyone has their days, you know? You might You're have right. been like angry or something was going on. You're right. I remember one time, it's funny, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't have anything against it. I just remember it was funny. Yeah. Like I was, I was chilling. <laughs> Uh, like I, I just picked something from Amazon and then I was looking at the orders and there was nothing right and then I was like making bags and then next thing you know Bree's like hey man like you guys got to work or something and I was remember, I remember I was with someone and I was like what like I checked and I looked up and there was like 200 orders that apparently had a come came up and I was like oh okay I guess it's time but I remember the way she said it man I was like what the heck what I mean yeah, yeah. she was like I don't remember exactly but Damn. she gave me that look like like, oh, you're not here just to talk or something like that, man. That and day. I was like, oh, <laughs> snap. I was like, okay. I, I'm like, okay. I didn't see it. And then I, like, I started working. But see, things like that. Yeah. Like that, that that's funny <laughs> to me now. But it, like thinking back on it, it's like, you know what? I hadn't even thought of that. But I'm sure, you know, yeah. you were having a bad day or something. Because that's not usually how you were with me. Yeah. So you're that so was right. different. Yeah. Some people might be going through something. And yeah. you might... Like, and this is perfect because it brings it into my next point. This is crazy because like someone might be going through something, like you said, and you're able to kind of sense when something is off with them, right? Yeah. And some people, instead of saying, oh yeah, something's definitely wrong with this person, they knock that off as, oh, they're a mean person. Yeah. And like, that's just who they are and they stay with that. But like you just described, like that day, I think I was going through a lot. Yeah, yeah, you probably you know? will see it. And it doesn't make me a mean person. No, definitely You're perceiving not. me as a mean person now just because I snapped at you. Yeah. You know, and that's not me. And I was always wanting to come to like, you know, Muriel, like, or anyone, I'm sorry. Yeah. Did I ever come and, and apologize or I'm like pretty, talk I'm to you? I'm pretty sure you I did. I think I have, you, right? You, you, yeah, you, you, I'm pretty sure like another day you told me like, yeah. oh, I was like, I'm yeah. not bad for, for that. Yeah. And maybe even that day. And yeah. I remember you telling me, like, oh, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't you or something like that. I was, and some people don't even apologize. Yeah. They don't, yeah. they don't even have like a conscious or like they don't yeah. even have a heart. You know, like some people just act like they, you know, whatever. But for me, it was one of those things where I knew I was going through something that was changing my behavior to get like other people to feel some type of way towards me. So I was the problem. <laughs> and I needed to check myself the very next day to be like, all right. I see why they might have thought this about me <laughs> because I was acting a certain way. Yeah. And that wraps into that whole whole situation. Definitely. Is definitely you can easily misconstrue something based on how someone's appearance is or how they're acting towards you as something else instead of just talking to them and getting the understanding of, oh, okay, dang, yeah. now that I got to know what's going on, I see what's going on. But a lot of people I feel like always um, see something and then they don't like for example that time now I remember Specifically after we talked about it and we were just talking about how you kind of wanted it She wanted to leave or something and I remember she was so cool where I was like, okay well, something must have definitely been going on and I think something with work and that you were gonna move out or something but you were so sweet I was like, okay as a person like I, I feel like I, I know you know yeah so she's right you know yeah you do you do have those days hey, everyone does man I didn't so, understand it then yeah why I would act the way that I acted but I understand now because I would run my shifts based off of emotion and not business I would run my shifts based off of the care from for you guys like, I didn't give a fuck about their numbers and their yeah. rates and all that. Still, I didn't give a shit. You know, and I would, yeah. like, people were doing good yeah. and all, but like, yeah, I was, definitely. if you couldn't push yourself and overexert yourself to get this quota yeah. or hit this, I was the type of manager that I would, like, pretty much be in the office vouching for you guys. Like, these are human beings, these are not robots. 
So yeah, for me, definitely. I, a lot of things were going on where it was upsetting me because no matter how much I tried out of that emotion to get them to see yeah. my point of view on things, they just didn't care because they were all money driven and oh, um, numbers driven and the you know, numbers got ridiculous man and they didn't run their ships based off of emotion this is why i do this stuff now because yeah. i'm a very emotional person and i have a heart and a conscience for other people and their care and it's just like i am a natural caregiver so i'm just like it just didn't make any sense to me why they weren't getting me and i, I think that's what it was going I think, through i, I was so. hurting inside because yeah. here i was trying to defend my my people yeah, and, and you could tell because or else you would have, if you were loving like that situation, you would have stayed there, you know. Yeah. But obviously, it was it got to the point where you must have been like, you know what, this ain't this is not even something I want to keep doing. Yeah, yeah, I was so happy when you know I got a phone call to come to corporate. I, I remember you told I was me. So happy. I remember. Because it was a black guy. It was a, a black manager, and he called me. We just hit it off on the phone. And I was like, wow, this is great. I get to come into this new situation and just kind of like leave the situation that was there behind and come into this new situation with my, my brand new fresh ideas and a whole new perspective. And one thing, one of the few things that some of the people said to me when I did leave corporate after mm -hmm. I think two and a half years, about two years I worked there, oh they were like, you know, there was, you brought a different perspective to like our team, like, you know, you, you 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 were driven by something different you weren't driven by whatever it is that we are used to doing you brought something different and fresh to the team and like your whole perspective it made us stop and think about a lot of different things that we never had to think before and it's because of my emotion you can't really be emotional yeah, when it comes yeah. to business and, and yeah. corporate and, and these these structures and how they're built you can't really be emotional so when nah. someone brings that to the table it's just kind of like you know and it, someone for me if I if I'm stripped of it, I don't want to be there no more. I want to yeah. move on to something else because you're not going to strip who I am down because I know I have some kind of willpower in me to help. Definitely. But you guys are stopping it because of the, numbers. The, the numbers. numbers. Funny because I, I know that she was good at what she did because we never had like one that I remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. You would be one of the best ones where we never had like late, you know, Mm -hmm. Whatever they call it, were too, right? Yeah, and, and it was trash, all no, no all trash, nice it was all nice and neat, and, 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 and we got our stuff done, you know, because she like made it in a way where she wasn't screaming at us but motivating us, like, and like you said, mm -hmm. by being cool. Like, hey guys, look, remember, we still got this, yep. let's get it done. And I would work stuff beside like you guys, yes, too, right? I, I remember, come out of there, course. clean up the shelf, yep. you guys just leave the shit, I'll pick yep. up the pallets, You'll pick up some of the stuff, just, and just then when we were like, I guess. You know, when the drivers have to get the stuff? <laughs> yep. <laughs> whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. I forgot. But yeah, she would help us put them, put them wherever they have to be, like the bags or whatever yeah. they're called. Always helping, yeah. moving stuff in and yeah. out the trucks, like forklifts, they'll be on board, we'll all be on board. Like just always mindful of other people. Yeah. And I feel like me taking care of you guys left me out of this and yeah, the numbers yeah. and stuff a lot because I was literally out there helping you guys out being a human and like making sure shift is looking good on all angles when i come back to my so-called desk and get on the laptop it's like, yeah. okay the numbers looking right well yeah. no they really they're yeah. can be right or yeah. a little over a little off yeah. but i mean i do know that i worked my ass off today alongside yeah. my people so i do yeah. know that and we worked our ass off and we did the best that we could do and if, if we're down one number i'm like well, fuck this number at least I know what we did. So I'm able to visually see like out, my like, team was working yeah. and when they would come at me, I'm like, look, yeah, we were, are we working. working. Yeah. Like I can see we it. Like, well, it doesn't look like it on the numbers. I'm like, get your ass out there yeah, and, and see, see, see that these, these people yeah. are working their yeah. ass off. And so I would be that voice of like justice yeah. for you guys, that like yeah. emotion. Yeah, see, I, I, wouldn't even, <laughs> I wouldn't even realize that because I'm not there, you know? Yeah. But that's crazy. The shit that I used that, to. That you would have to, yeah. to deal with. And yeah. I'm pretty sure they got annoying because yeah. the numbers get annoying for me. Like they annoying. would be like, oh, well, you got to reach. I remember back then if you're working, you're cool. Like You could tell who's working or yeah, not. Definitely. And then afterwards, they started going like, oh, well, you got to hit like this. And I'm like, man, I'm not going to hit like 150 when a person's hitting 80. Like, right. like what well, I'm going to do my work, which should be like, if you see I'm working, that's good. If I'm right. slacking off, tell me I'm slacking off. Right. Well, I would even be like, if I'm slacking off, just fire me. Thank like, you. Just fire me. another person. Yeah, like, like if that's what, if that's the, the, and it's not like we were getting paid a lot. Like it was like right. freaking part time, like 12 bucks an hour. Right. 
and it was like only the hours they wanted to give you, yeah. which wasn't even much. I'm like, man. You guys had to go on an app. Yeah, right? we had to go on a nap and like battle for the hours at one point. That's when I was over that. Yeah. I was like, nah, this is, I, luckily I was like, like I told her I was yeah. going to school and I'm like, this ain't a good thing. I'm not doing this for the rest of my- That part. Screw that, That man. part. And this guy right here is doing, now you're, you're teaching now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a full-time PE teacher now, which is cool because this is what I was doing when we were talking. And yes. I was like, man, I'm almost there. You know, it took a little longer with that credential, but got my credential and now I got my full-time job. Actually, this week is my last week. Like, you know, we're doing the online teaching, so yeah, should be done today. Yeah, wow. So that's cool. Let's see, and yeah. most people looking at you wouldn't even think that. No, you know? no, definitely, man. You know, even, what do people think of you when they first see you? I don't know. I don't know about now, man. You tell me or, or you, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, I don't know, I guess like some, I would say maybe a jock. I don't know. A dude that likes sports and that's it. But yeah, yeah. This guy jock, got a brain over here. He's a teacher. I, they, I try. I love it. <laughs> I try. But I definitely can have like, you know, deep conversations too, you know. I, I can have fun and I, I could also speak about like serious stuff too, which, yeah. which is a good thing. I think that's a good thing everyone should have, you know, like don't just be like, oh, fun, fun, fun. Like yeah. think a little bit too, you know, read sometimes, you know, yeah. I'm not the person that loves reading, but I know it's important and, and everyone should, you know, take a look, see here and there. Definitely. <laughs> read some books. Read yeah, something, yeah. you know. Whatever like, you like, man. Right. It'll help you with your vocabulary too, so. I love yeah. it. And that's another thing. And when I'm on the TV and I'm watching like Netflix or Hulu or something or Amazon Prime, I have subtitles oh, up yeah, there. That's, that's good. Because that's a good I like idea. to read it while they're talking because it that even like helps my vocabulary. I get to learn new words, different things, ways they put the words together, what sentence they said. I'm like, oh, that's clever. What they just put together, the words, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it, Def it yeah, you get little, yeah, head, little you know? ideas. You're like, man, that's, that sounds cool. Right. You know, you're looking at the thing. I'm mad. That, that cat sounds, sounds intelligent. Right. <laughs> like, right. I want to sound like that too. <laughs> right. And it's, it's even on the telly, right? You know, we can literally see an actor or actress and think like one way about them but then they start to speak and you're just like yeah. whoa like this is like, like I whoa. thought this person would be it like in a certain way yeah. and then you're speaking, like oh he's down to earth too like right. that's cool right but he plays that part so well that you think he's like right. a certain person right that's, that is true though and see that's why they that's why they that's why they do that profession because they're really good, they're at, good at being something else yep. for a point in time yep. so it really makes you question like who who is this person and yeah life? you're like how would they act if they met me would it, they treat me mean would they be kind you know I have you ever thought about that with some of the people that you see that are acting and you're like yo like it would be cool to see how they are as them oh okay when you meet them Shoot. you know I, I think I think I've thought of it more as in like oh th that dude would be dope to hang out with but yeah. then like you said you never know I'm right. just judging it off that surface you know I'm yeah. like oh that dude probably be, be cool to hang out with and then you hang out with him and he's a dick so yeah. I don't know I, that's true man <laughs> right. you never know like imagine you thinking you're like, that was gonna be cool or like oh man that, that girl's probably a sweetheart yeah and she's a fucking asshole like exactly it's like man never mind screw this yeah. <laughs> But yeah, um, there was one actress lady. She's an older lady, and I'm not gonna say her name. Yeah. But I I met her at after this show in Hollywood, and I was in the bathroom washing my hands, and I told her I was like, hey, I'm like, nice to meet you. I said I'm a huge fan of some of your movies in the past that you've done. Like, yeah. I just want to say like, good job, and I you know I've always like watched all of them, and like, she looked at me like I was too young to even know those movies that I just said that she was in, and I'm like. You know, like, oh, well, yeah. she was like, oh, well, you're too young to know all about that. Like, how do you know? And kind of like, you know, kind of just dismiss me. Yeah. And I was like, oh, OK, like, yo, that's really. And she was an older, um, an older actress and everyone knows her. She's played okay. some really good parts and I'm not going to, you know, I'm not yeah, going to say yeah. her name. Say <laughs> so I know. Really, I really want to say it. I'm not going to do that to her. I, I respect her. You respect you know? that? You got a little code? Yeah, I respect A little code her. of like, man, if they, if, if I'm, if I'm a certain way, I want them to like. Right. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not going to just put her out. <laughs> Because some people might like her not yeah. agree with me. But yeah. this is how she came at me. This was my experience yeah. with her. And um, <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to ask me later, who is it? Who is it in the comments? But no, I'm not going to tell you. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Behind the scenes, yeah. But, um, <laughs> but she was very, like, kind of rude and kind of standoffish to me. Really? Because she's seen this young girl yeah. telling her about some movie some she did movie. back in 1990s yeah. and stuff like that. And it's because my parents... 
I was grown. I grew up on that. Of course. My parents used to play those movies, and now I'm like, oh, that she's dope. She's such a good actress. And when I met her in person, her attitude was shit. So I'm like, well, <laughs> I <laughs> thought that you were this good person, yeah. and then come to find out, like, I hope she was going through something. She might maybe. have been, like we were saying, right? Like she we were might saying, have because been. Because it's better for the doubt, right? She was like, oh, but, yeah. <laughs> she was really rude to me, and I was like, all right, let me get the fuck away from her. Yeah, like, yeah, go here. I'm just but gonna do my. I usually thing. don't. Um, approach her unless I really like like their work. Um, okay. I've worked with a whole bunch of different stars and things like that and um, they're a lot of them are usually pretty cool. Down to earth, straight up, kind. Um, like Megan Thee Stallion, I've actually worked with her, like I met her and she was yeah. very like loving and kind and like inviting and is you know. That, is that like an artist? Yeah, she's oh, okay. she's one of these um, artists that just, I, I don't I think she's like, she's way younger than us, I do know that. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I feel old by the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm 27 and I feel like not like she's either wise, our age or younger than us. Okay. But I think she might be around our age, but how old are you now? I'm 26. Okay, so yeah. seeing you were younger. Yeah. Than <laughs> man, I was like, man, she's my manager. I was like, what? The but you heck? see, like, <laughs> example there, a lot of these new artists do not look their age, right? Yeah, they look yeah. like they're like 30 or maybe you know, like at, at least mature, like her, and they're like 21 and 20. Yep. You're like what? At like, least like 25, but then they're like yeah. 19. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crazy. But she was sweet. She was kind. Um. Uh, the way that she's in her interviews and things like that and her music or whatnot It just seems like she would be a, a cool person to be around and when you do meet her She's actually a cool person to be yeah. around. So I do um, like it when especially when people up there actors or just other different people that we meet in, in everyday life, yep. right? Um, you see them like you might see a picture of them on Instagram social media or whatever and You're like oh that person looks cool and then you just kind of get a vibe of their life Yeah, you're like, all right. They seem like they might be a nice person. We meet them. They're like the worst person ever so you know, it just depends yeah. on um, us actually getting that, to though. know them. Yeah, I definitely heard about that where they're like, oh, yeah. well, he's he's kind of like a, a dig in person or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. where you're like, oh, what is that quote they say? Like, don't ever meet your idol or something like that. Like, mm. cause they'll disappoint you. I remember thinking like, man, that's kind of that's, that's kind of crazy. Deep, yeah, you know? yeah. It's like, man, if, if that if that does happen, I'll be kind of lame. You know, like, say you have someone you look up to and you meet them. And their dick, like, yeah. you'll be like, oh my god, can I even enjoy their that'll stuff just, anymore? That just oh, crushed my god, heart. Yeah. <laughs> like an, a person you actually like, you consider like an idol in a way, like that would, yeah, that would, that would hurt. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> that would definitely get you in the feels right there. Yeah, because it's yeah. like all my life, yeah. I wanted to meet you. Yeah. And yeah. I thought this would be like one of the best Coolest moments of things. my life, and then you, and then you just crushed everything. You're like, that nah, I in. you're not even a cool <laughs> person. Like you look at his movies or whatever. Like you look at his, if it's an artist, you listen to his music. Like, oh man, I can't even, I can't even listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put this down. I gotta down put now. this down. I gotta delete this yeah. off my it's uh, true though i'm sure there's some people like yeah <laughs> apple spotify man you gotta get with the program yeah, you apple know what music. you know what's crazy see i i wouldn't take you as a spotify guy what <laughs> me Shoot. I'm, I'm, I'm a I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything i was gonna say something but what? i don't want to incriminate myself well, oh. i was gonna <laughs> <laughs> what is that? The old download? Yeah, old like the LimeWire and yeah, the YouTube. That's and stuff. That's what I used to oh, do too. Oh man! It but, was like a, the coolest way to get music. Yeah, for like man. Free. Like shoot, <laughs> my brother would be burning CDs. He'd be make, like, we was in middle school, but he was so smart. He'd be making money. Like yeah. Yeah, but anyways, let's not talk about that. No. But uh, hey, but, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Um, why not spotify man that's like i was on it before all like everybody started getting yeah. on spotify and people do soundcloud too is that no soundcloud yes. is that what that is yeah soundcloud, yeah, SoundCloud. the orange yeah. soundcloud um, for sure but yeah i mean in regards to um all that see you wouldn't have struck me as that i thought maybe oh iphone you have iphone i, I do have an iphone Let's actually see. i think i got the free trial for the, the oh, apple that music nice. too yeah okay so i i uh I definitely did listen to Apple Music, but I don't know. I guess since I'm used to Spotify, See, that's what I go back I was, to. I was already judging you. You had an uh, Android. See? <laughs> See I, 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 Android. I, did, I did have an Android. <laughs> and they, would, they, they would make fun of me. It was a OnePlus. Nobody probably knows what that is, which is why they made fun of me. But it, <laughs> but it was a dope phone. And yeah. yeah, I had like this big old OnePlus phone. And they'd be like, what is that? The OnePlus 20? I'm like, no. 
So one plus three. Yeah. But they clown on me all the time. But you Just because of my phone. See, there they go judging. Man. <laughs> right, you see, this is perfect. Cause like, but I feel like those those phones take better pictures though. Yeah, definitely. Especially back then. Like my pictures look clear as yeah. clear as hell. It's like a real camera type situation yeah. going on. And like iPhone has theirs. And even yeah. now iPhone got some new advanced. I, I, cameras iPhones actually work might have the best on. now. But yeah. yeah. Back when I had it, you know, my iPhone was in like yeah the, the best so yeah. when i got my phone i was thinking i'm all cool and then Bree's over here making fun of me because i got a i mean she's making fun of me because i got this weird android that nobody's seen but she was she was like she saw me and she's like you see he ain't cool he's got that yeah. android phone <laughs> no but you know what? what that goes into it too though we're talking yeah. about like judging people mm -hmm. like if i have this like people are like oh like He's got money because he's got like an iPhone or whatever, you know? Yeah. But I could have my OnePlus and I could still be the same person, you still know? Have money. So that's true, yeah. Exactly. That is true, man. This goes into the next part of like on a deeper wave of how I feel about myself and in general, how people see me as like this little person. And yeah. they might think first off, she looks, you know, she's small, she's weak, you know, maybe she's a weak person or, you know, she, um, you know she's very sweet and she's very like well spoken and, and she seems like she has manners so she's probably like someone I could like easily get over mm. on or someone I can like use or abuse mm. you know um, yeah. and for me I, I'm very aware of when someone is trying to do those things to me I if anything I'm not a weak person I see myself as a fighter you know I see myself as someone who always stands up for other people um, yeah. who's always standing up for what's right like you know whichever someone say oh it's you win I lose you win no like what is right like what's justifiably like right like do you treat people like this no so yeah. why would you want to treat someone you, yeah. like that and so I'm a fighter I've always been someone who cares um, I'm well spoken because you know I decided to just go to school and be like someone who like re like to read a lot like goes yeah. back to what we were yeah, talking about vocabulary. and just like it doesn't make me weak as someone like you can just like push over or think I'm a nerd or think I'm this or whatever or yeah. she thinks she's all that like I really just like to talk this way it's just who yeah, this is who I am yeah. for me I, I kind of feel like once people get to know me and they see how I move every day, they see how I am, how I interact with people. I'm a type of person I like to be alone. I like to be in my thoughts. Yeah. I like to be, um, like, I like to just think to myself and I like to spend a lot of alone time. I don't usually typically um, be around a lot of people unless I have yeah. to go out to a social event or do something when it comes to arts or entertainment or even my job, you know? So it's just kind of like I'm very, um, I'm the type of person who likes to go to the beach relax nice. by myself pull out my little chair and just like look at the sky i'm that kind of person cool, i don't need man. a lot of people or a lot of things around me and so when people first see me they might be like oh well she's naturally someone who's an extrovert mm -hmm. you know she's mm -hmm. well spoken she's not shy Definitely. around us so they obviously they they think oh this is who she is and then like i'm very uh, I... introvert yeah and i don't you know i'm very you know just I have a lot of energy when I'm around other energies, you okay, know? I feel you. So when I'm around other people, that's when I'm, my that's energy's when, that's activated. When you, that's when it gets... And I preserve it, you okay. know, when I'm not around people. You're, so. you chill and chill and chill? Yeah, me chill. you get that cool vibe. Right. But I'm not okay. a weak person either. Definitely you know? not. And people have seen that because of maybe my size or, you that's know, true, man. whatever it is. And I'm just like, you don't even know. But once they get to know me, they see that, dang, she's actually she's like... Not someone who's a writer she's like feisty. she's feisty she yeah, has yeah. fire passion you know yeah. um willpower she's not afraid she's fearless she's Definitely. bold um straight up if if someone you know has a, I, I don't mind confrontation as long as it's respectful mm. and we get to gotcha. a point and whether or not we disagree or agree yeah. we just okay and respect each other's yep. differences of, opin of opinion but i'm that kind of person for me it's just one of those things where you would not ever know that unless you really stop, have a conversation and get to know me. Yeah. And um, I have been in situations where I've helped people who have tried to like use and abuse me, tear me down. Wow. Um, I've been in those situations because of my looks and some of those people were manipulative or try to be manipulative. They're, they yeah, come yeah. off as this one way, mm -hmm. then they, you start to see how they move and it's, yeah. it's not adding up with your your spirit, your energy and what you believe in. You're just like, yo, Definitely. is this? are you using me? Like what's yeah, going yeah. on? Um, so from all aspects, even on those, I cry sometimes because I'm either exhausted. happy or exhausted for you, like, or even for myself. Yeah. Sometimes I cry like tears of joy, you know, I'm like, man, like 
you know, the, the oh, universe yeah, yeah. keeps looking out for me yeah. and there's a whole bunch of beautiful people that I'm surrounded by daily. And it makes me cry. Like I'm happy for just being here on this earth and I'm happy for just being able to breathe every day and wake up every day. So I'll cry for that. And some people don't even realize why I'm crying. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I live with people. Usually I'm like, I have a roommate or something okay, like that. So I've been a bachelor when you first met me, I was yeah. a bachelorette for like four years. So I, when I live with people, they don't yeah. understand. They see me in the hallway or something and they see me crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You they know, sometimes think. they ask and sometimes they don't yeah, yeah, yeah. but for people who do ask they know what's going on for people okay. who don't, don't they just yeah. perceive like oh well she's on this side and you're just yeah, crying yeah, yeah. all the time i'm crying <laughs> yeah. either because i'm trying to help yeah, someone yeah, yeah. and they're hurting me and they're hurting my soul but they see it as oh well she just is a depressed person I wasn't even depressed yeah i'm getting up every day i'm going to work i'm it doing stuff it might have been that happy cry yeah it it's like been... you don't know what i'm crying about yeah but they see that as like a sign of weakness and i see that as a sign of strength like I love you that much that I'm strong enough to cry for you. Most people don't even care. They won't even yeah. cry. They won't even shed a tear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so a I lot of those things. About that. but, That's true. You know, like you can cry for it and then be happy. You know, right? And most people don't think about it like that. Like me, I'd probably be like, oh no, is she crying again? <laughs> I'm just like, no, I, I, I know, I know that that's not. I would probably ask you, you know. Yeah. You know? And then I'll know. But right. yeah, it's cool how you're open about it, though. A lot of people won't even say that. Like, oh, you know, I cry. You know? Yeah, I cry. Yeah. I used to tell my dad, like, my dad cried only one time in my life, my entire child and upbringing with him. Yeah. I used to wonder why my dad would never cry, you know, and like there, he was taught to like hide his feelings and push yep. those, you know, to the side and just yep. be like uh, numb to everything. That's how I was taught too. You know, you know? like I, right? my mom cried like one time. One time, all my life, that's my mom. Yeah. So when I, if I ever feel like crying, I'm like, oh, you better man up, man. But <laughs> I've noticed that that's not the way to go, man. You know? Yeah. Like you gotta, even if, like you said, even if it's by yourself, man, mm -hmm. you gotta let it. Let you gotta it let out. it out. You gotta let it out, man. It's energy that's being yeah. held hostage in your heart and your yep. soul, and it's like it could rip it apart if you keep holding it in there. So it's better to let that emotion Definitely. out and cry whatever it takes to let it out instead of hold it in and, and allow it to make you become a bitter person or make yeah. you become a person where people are like, yep, they're, they're, they're yeah. a mean person. Because then you keep it inside and, right. and you don't let it out. Right. Which is cool because you said your pops never did. So I'm glad you, you know, like figured yourself out. And you I'm know, you saying yeah. I, that's, a, that's another thing that me and my sister were going to talk about as well is like our upbringing with our dad and how yeah. me and her are complete opposite and different than that and we had to battle a lot of our emotions i i would say 10 years ago would never even see myself able to even speak in front of a a camera to an audience about my emotions Man, yeah never Ooh, we. and now 10 years fast forward i'm here talking about certain things that I feel, maybe other people might feel them. Yeah. I would have never thought that I could do that and be brave enough to do something like that, coming from the yeah, father situation. and the upbringing that I came from. So. Yeah. That's cool, and, and that goes to show you, man. Yeah, <laughs> it goes to show you, yeah. You know, and I don't mind it because at the end of the day, if this makes me weak sharing, you know, if this makes us weak sharing how we feel with others, what? Then what? what, 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 what what's know? the point? What's the point? You know, right. if that makes I'm you weak. Because I'm sharing love and, 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 and openness and, and Now that you said it out loud, it makes no sense. Yeah. Like saying that you're weak because of the Right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I feel like somehow in this society today, they've molded everyone to think that, you know, you cannot be emotional. You cannot stop for a second and, and cry to yourself. You yeah, can't even yeah. take a second to yourself to just be emotional. You Everything is go, 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 win, yep. win, win, suck it up, yep. be tough. And if you're showing emotion towards your spouses and your lovers, oh, it's a problem and you're yeah. weak. You're weak for showing love. You're weak for being in love. You're weak for showing love. You're weak for just this the love, just showing love Same to anyone. Yeah. Like, Especially the dudes, The society's made us think that, you know? And we're brave enough to be like, no, it's a strength yeah. to show love. It's it, it's beautiful to show love in, in every is. aspect of your life and those yeah. around you. Especially when you can be open about it, you know? Like, yeah. like and not feel, because you know, there might be times where you're like, oh, okay, I think like I can, I can, you know, be a little bit, get a little emotional with this person. And then when they like, kind of don't even want to hear it, you're like, oh, what the, you know? Nah, yeah. It makes you want to go back to the not sharing anything, yeah. you know? Yeah. Cause you feel so good. And then you get like a negative reaction. And you're like, oh, what, what the heck? You know what? I ain't doing this ever again. Yeah. But I, I agree. I, you should, People you shouldn't, shut think, down. You shouldn't yeah. think like that. You know, yeah. like, that's just a dick. And that's I just see. a person that's an asshole. Yeah, yeah. I, I completely see your point. I see why people shut down when yeah. they go to, to people for so long and try to express themselves and Definitely. their pain and their heart to them. And then they just get shut down. I see why people just shut down at that point. Of course. But the thing that we're trying to tell you is this do not. 
don't. don't shut down continue to be yourself continue to be your loving kind self you know because you never know just because be yourself, you're just because you're being yourself yeah. around someone who's already who's, judging you yeah. putting you down doesn't mean you being yourself around someone else is, ha is necessarily them going to bring yep. you down so they might be attracted to you yeah. being yourself and then that might be, that a, good might be a good outcome if you would have stopped being yourself completely because of this one person mm -hmm. completely shut down you would have never had those opportunities to that you so have to cool be with all these other people you. and i just feel like yep. you have to be able to be a fighter through that you know because you'll mess around and lose yourself at that point you, you have no emotions yourself. you have this nothing yep. no this numb now i feel numbness in my heart and in my soul and who wants to live like that no nah, it's you know? true man you said it perfectly you lose yourself like if that's how i felt and i felt good telling that you know being a little emotional that's cool you know maybe that person's an asshole but like she said it I could talk to her about it, you know? She's mm -hmm. not going to be a dick if I tell her something personal. Right. You know, he might not be a dick, you know? Right, so exactly. Everyone's different, so don't lose that self and be like, hold it in forever. Because that's going to, you're not going to even be yourself then. Right. You know, you're right. just going to be holding stuff in. And Definitely. like you said, that's not good. That's why. Definitely. Gotta, and that gives people even more of a, a reason to judge you because they sense something's going on yeah. that you're not discussing. Yeah. And don't give anyone a reason to judge you if you already know yourself and yeah. you're comfortable with everything, then you can just radiate at that yep. point. You know, if you're walking around with a little dark cloud, that's giving everyone a welcome note to just yep. an invitation to be like, oh, something's wrong with that something's person, you know? Yeah. So do your due diligence and do your best to work on yourself. I know we're not perfect. No, you know, no, we can no. never be perfect, never. but it's just do that diligence and just get to know yourself so that when the time does come for someone to judge you, you can stand on your two feet and be yep. like, I know who I am. Yep. That's where you want to strive to and get. Exactly. Exactly. You know? And and be comfortable with it and be okay with people judging you because if you know who you are, you're like, okay, that's cool that you think that, but it's cool you did not rock my foundation yeah, yeah, yeah. because I know who I am. Yep. Um, and that's very important. Very important, especially when it comes to us being humans. If anything had no clothes on, you know, we all have bodies, yeah. we all have private parts, yeah. we all have everything. So it's like, how we are, how are we any different? Yeah, uh, that's true, man. You Without, know, if we didn't have our fresh like shoes or, you know, mm -hmm. our nice haircuts at the end of the day, almost everything about us is the same, you know? Right. At the end of the day, we have the same, the same traits, you know? Right. And that's why I come into every situation with anyone new, like with an open mind. Yeah. I might have questions, you know, course, I might question yeah. like, all right, you know, yeah, like, yeah. why is everyone like this? All right, and I kind of, you know, but it's not like I'm questioning that person. It's no. just in my head, I'm like, is this going to be another one of those kind of people? Or yeah. am I going to, but I'm going to give them the benefit give of the me, doubt. Me, yeah. and get to know give them a try before first. I even like, you know, but and I it, question, but I don't, yep. I don't judge them. I just question. And then I just go in like with an open with heart. An open, yeah. You know, Ooh, I like that open heart. <laughs> I was going to say open mind, but no, that's with awesome. An, yeah. With, with an, an open heart. And I feel like, you know, especially when it comes to um getting to know individuals you have to you have yeah. to be open to anything yep. um you know like you said open mind open heart open soul open everything when i approach you that's what i'm coming with yeah. i'm not cutting any of those out and some no. people have been um molded now yeah. with all the pain and hurt that they've been through to cut out a lot of that stuff when they meet a new person yep. so when they meet Definitely. a new person you're only getting one little side of them instead of the whole, the whole thing yeah because they cut out everything else because in fear that they're going to get hurt again in those areas or hurt again because someone's going to shut that down. Because of that. Yeah. Because of like, oh, last time I did this, uh, I kind of was like shifted off. Like, oh, you got to be stronger than that, you know? Yeah. 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 I agree. That's, that's true. And I didn't even think I was going to come here and get, you know, all this good energy. Like, I mean, I did, but I didn't think I was going to get all this <laughs> thing that's like actually correlating to me and like stuff that I'm kind of thinking mm -hmm. about. And it's like, you know what? That's right. I shouldn't just because this person did this, I shouldn't go into, you know, macho mode, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, well, that's the way I see, you know, because right. like, people always say, you know, the dude should be trying. And I completely agree. But you know what? If you ha if you got to take time to like, you know, maybe you're chilling at, at night, you know, maybe maybe cry of happiness or even sad. Do it, man. You don't got to hide that. Yeah. It's definitely. not. We're too we're too old to do that. shit. You <laughs> Thank know? you. Yeah. Respect. Oh, we are too old to be hiding yeah, how know? we feel and Screw this and that. that. I ain't hiding nothing. Yeah. Take me as I am or don't yep. take me or at don't all. Don't take me at all. Exactly. Ooh, we hey. Ooh, we spend that fire Ooh, today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, man, you're my man's your yeah, I, I love you, man. Or herb? Herb. I call you herb. <laughs>
Yerb, I used to call him Yerb. What oh the hell? God. He's like, I hate that nickname. I'm like, why do I say this? I, I feel like I got that from some kind of cartoon know, or man. some shit. I, I, some kind of uh, Pikachu type <laughs> situation. I don't know where I got it from. I had completely <laughs> forgotten about it and she hit me up with Herb last time. I'm like, whoa, and Herb, you know, the, worst, the worst name, nickname of all time. <laughs> yeah, he used, to, he used to say that all the time. Herb, the first oh nickname my God. ever. Like, but you couldn't come up with something cool? Right. No, nah, Herb. <laughs> <laughs> so for example like say i'm eating i have an instagram so when i post stuff i i be eating chicken breast all week right chicken breast and rice they might think oh my god this is a lame like he's gonna like he probably looks good but he's a lame but no man i have cheat days too like i <laughs> eat my my fats like my like some bomb ass food you see on instagram yeah. I, I go to those spots too but they might think like oh he's he's just doing that all the time but they don't truly know what's going on behind the scenes you know yeah. they just judging you based off that picture you know yeah stuff like that and i don't know if you got an example where the people might think of you as a certain way because of the way you dress maybe or, yeah. or, or the way your makeups did you yeah, know? yeah. Like, oh my gosh she got her makeup up all the time probably but i don't know yeah you're right and, and, and thing is i am the type of person i do not like wearing makeup whatsoever i am a very get up in the morning you know take a shower and i don't put nothing on my face i wash my face in the shower do my thing and then i put my my little like like face lotion on and i'm out the door i do not like makeup unless See? i'm like you know getting um you know ready for something special like my shoots or work when it comes to the entertainment stuff this you know i like to be presentable when it comes nice. to that stuff but when i'm just up every single day i hate makeup i do not like getting it on my face i don't like it on my clothes i don't like it at all anywhere so um it just takes too long for me because when i when i do do my makeup yeah. I do a very nice job. Yeah. I take my take time and I time. like to take my time. It's like a, a, a an art piece for me. It's Same like drawing nice. a painting, you know, and drawing it and, and that's what it's like for me. So if I'm going to do that every single day, you think that's going to drive me insane for one, because it takes too long for me because yeah. I do a great job. Um, for two, for me, I just feel like I'm very comfortable with myself. I love my who I am and what I look like without it. Yeah. So it it's doesn't awesome. doesn't make or break me. No. But most people say or might see it yeah. as, oh, she must wear you know these clothes and uh, yep. every day. Yes. Hell no. Uh, <laughs> I have a sweatpants, yep. t-shirt, chilling with my you know little flip flops or yep. something on. I'm that. See? As long as I'm clean and and comfortable, I'm fine. See, and people might not know that. Yeah. Right. See me. I, I same with you man. I, I, oh, I mean I'm a dude. I don't do makeup, but yeah. I I uh <laughs> I do have my shorts on and I always have like a cut off shirt. But when I'm like at school, that's not how I go with like a cut off shirt, you know? So I, yeah. I try try to look a little bit more professional. And then if I was a, like a sub, I would have to go in with my nice little button up, you know, when I was <laughs> subbing, but they might think of you as a different way than when I'm a PE teacher, you know? Yeah. They'll be like, oh, PE teacher with his shorts, you know, he ain't smart. But if, when I'm a sub, you know, with my little nice, but no, yeah, no. they're like, oh, this, this guy's smart, you know? Things like that. It's yeah. funny because people, don't really think about it but that's why i think you need to have a conversation you know yeah before you kind of judge because sometimes you might be right you might judge someone i might be like oh man Bree, she looks like a yeah she's gonna be a and then like i see her and i oh, she was no she was an asshole right. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but then again it could be the different way like you said i yeah. might see you like oh she's up here like she thinks she's better than me yeah but you're not exactly you can get to even if you do for whatever reason you can get to my level you know right you know stuff like that so it's down yeah. to earth yeah and, and just being yourself like people might see me and say okay well she has hazel green eyes and she must think that she's this and i'm like no i really don't i really like my yeah. eye color i would thank you i was blessed with those, those eyes with man. That. but you know it's not like my oh you know this is who i am and i'm gonna make everything about my eyes because i got green eyes it's who like, you are man no it's yeah you, you know like i'm gonna embrace it whatever it is and go with it like even you know my girlfriend she mm -hmm. has brown eyes and i like her brown eyes so they're like you know they're pretty to me like of course you know like people, different people have different things you know yeah and people just already judge you like oh you know or hate or be envious of it or you know whatever however it is that they feel because they might feel like they're lacking that in order for them to feel better about themselves, they need to look like some other person. And that even goes with how a lot of people on social media, or just in general, in real life, mm -hmm. dress. Everyone, I feel like all, all the, like, 
you're Hispanic or white mm -hmm. or, or Korean or whoever it is, they all have this little like trend going on in mm -hmm. each. Like, oh, they all look the same. Mm -hmm. They all dress the same, act the same. They all do this the same. I love it when people stand out and just know who they are and be themselves. And they look completely different than gotcha. what the trend is, yeah. you know? Just because it's a trend, oh, we all have to, yep. you know, have these long, drapey clothes yeah, and all yeah. this. I know, that is funny. Same, you know? I've like, been noticing that. And okay, that. it's cool, I like it, yeah, right? Yeah. But that makes me not even want it more yeah. because it's like, y'all all, 23 million of y'all yeah, look the same. Look the same, man. And That's, that is crazy. It's cool <laughs> to be a little, little bit unique, you know? Obviously, there's some stuff, like I told them, your shoes are tight, bro. Like no matter what. Like even if if you don't have, if you had like some crappy clothes, Shout but out to the, camera, the shoes, I would have still said they were tight. But that's because that's how I am. Right. See, Bree might be like, oh, you know, they're just Nikes. But yeah. to me, I'm like, oh, dude, I remember rocking something like that. Like when I was, you know, right. Middle school. And they stuff, might, right? I see them, and they might make me feel a different way yeah, than how you than see them. House. Right. Because yep. I, you know, I I don't really wear Nike, so I'm see? just like. Oh, all right, they're just they're some just cool, cool shoes. shoes. And then this person's like, yo, like. Uh, dude, I was like, they look tight. Yeah. <laughs> I love nice it. Shoes. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Everyone, and even then, I could have judged. I'm like, oh, that means he has a little bread, you know? He, he has a little <laughs> bread, he can afford those things, you know? So uh, things like that, you do kind of judge, though. Everybody right. does, but just remember, don't, don't take that as all of it you gotta get to know someone first definitely so I, that's one thing you gotta take into account definitely all the time so i mean hey wrapping that up you know yep. our, our our topic conclusion i think that was a good matter of the heart discussion you know yeah. um breaking it down even into more of why we feel you know a certain way about ourselves and why we also feel why someone else might conceive us in that way or might think that we are that way you know um I just feel like it's very good to know who you are, no yeah. matter what. And if you know who you are, you know, just dismiss that energy. Dismiss that um, that energy of, man, is someone just judge me right now? Yo, mm -hmm. they treated me a certain way because of how they think of me and yep. they didn't even get to know me, you know? Don't feel bad um, for someone else's um, choices and actions that they make towards you. If you know yourself, just keep on, just keep on keeping on. And people are going to be like, yo. I like that. I like person. that. Yeah, that people. You know? I think people can, you know, sense it when you're not being yourself. Yeah. And it kind of, it's kind of like a throw off. Like, oh man, I, I don't know. He's not. He's being a little weird. You yeah. Know? Yeah. But when, when you're yourself, like, even if you think you're a goof, people are gonna think you're the shit. They're gonna be like, oh, this this dude is fun to be around. Yeah. Like even if you're being, obviously. You're not gonna be want to be around someone that's an asshole. So right. If you're an asshole, I'm sorry, you're probably not gonna have friends. Yeah. <laughs> really, and you but, they act like they have all the yeah, friends. Yeah. You know? These people really don't like yeah. you. They're probably just around you because, because you want, might look good or yep. something. I don't know. Yep. But see, I'm, I might be judging too right now. Yep. You know? Yeah. We, we all might judge. Be. We all judge. We, we all know. do. Yeah. Someone might be, you know, an asshole, and people really like love being around I don't that because they're all not, assholes. Who knows? Yeah, like, it might be right. You know, maybe maybe <laughs> all the people that are assholes hang out with each other. You know, like, but when it comes to me, the look you know how you view me opposed to how I view me um, I feel like how I view me is always very important that yeah. comes first that's and, the most important man I think honestly. yeah and as, and as long as you view yourself and you know who you are yeah. the way that someone else views you I feel like should not matter nope. and for those people out there who are so fixated on um, I would say trying to always pass judgment on others I would say, just look, just, just find it in yourself to just, to stop, to not do that, you know, because at the end of the day, there must be something you're lacking if you're so fixated on doing that to other people. Just be neutral with yourself, find peace within yourself so that you're not always passing judgment. Relax, meditate, whatever it is, yeah, chill meditate. out because not everyone is who you think they are. You know, I, that anxiety, you're just definitely. working yourself up, think, oh, well, that person, no. Take your time and get Take to know it. someone, you know? And um, meditate, man. What you said there, yeah. like, that's that's big time, man. You, when you're like kind of on a, on a down, just take your time, you know, like yeah. five minutes or something, you know? Yeah. Think of something that you love. I don't know, man. Yeah. Just take your time and relax. I think that's yeah. important. Because when you're on a down, you're kind of just thinking negatively. Mm -hmm. You got to have some, be in, the, be in the moment, you know? Like, yeah. look, I can move my <laughs> limbs, you know? Right. Like some people don't have limbs, you know? Right. Someone, people have it worse than us, and we have all of our body parts oh and God. stuff like that. But you know, like, like that's that's we're the thing. Healthy. We're healthy. We're breathing. We're here. So be kind to yourself. Yeah. Be kind to yourself and others. You know. Um, Take care of yourself. Passing man. judgment and, yeah. and thinking one way. Hopefully, you would think that this is another human being, 
with good potential, someone I could get to know, someone yep. that might be a friend. Hopefully you're thinking a positive way about other people, yep. you know, no matter what they look like. Um, it, what, no matter what they wear, no matter where they came from, no matter what car they drive, no matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's about what's in here that matters. Yep. So, you know, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much for this discussion no, thank on you. my podcast. Love language, I think, is is something that, you know, we can all come to, to for these types of discussions. Yeah, um, I agree. And, um, you know, just, you know, just as a token of my faith to you and just being someone that I know have like, always has been one of my, one of the people that I feel has been there for me and supported me through a lot. Um, a lot of hard times and good times too. Yeah. Um, these are for you. And these are hey. pretty much, this is my flavor, love. Ooh. Love language incense. Okay. Um, I have a lot of different flavors. <laughs> this is lover. Um, you will love this. You'll love this cool, a lot. Man. It's a sample. Um, I sell these for, if you want some or know anyone that might be interested, yeah. um, 12 a pack for five bucks. And they're That's all cool. organic, therapeutic, oil scents hand dipped, handmade, um, and just everything. They're just something that I was raised on and I used to meditate really? and like relax and cool. have a sense of vibe and cleanliness in the area and the, you know, just that good yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are for you, um, cool, just for being Thank a part so of much. my vision and I show. appreciate yeah. it, man. You're I'm welcome. glad I could help you out in any way. Thank I mean, you. I was just talking, but <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. you for inviting me over. And this is, I'm going to shout out my Instagram again. It's Soul Bloom, S O L B L O O M underscore. I hope I said that right. Bloom. Um, and this is uh, your real. My handle is a B I G U mm -hmm. 0124. Big U 0124. That should have been my nickname, not, yeah. not Herb. Big U? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, thanks, thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. You're welcome. And we are <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Love Language. Until next time. I didn't even realize that. With the shoes? Yeah. It's hard, the huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, these are old. I tops. Yeah, we Air Forces. Y'all all used to come, you, especially you. Yeah. All used to come up in that warehouse. We were. Best. With the, with yep, the shoes. <laughs> like a shoe press yeah, man, I, I would bring like <laughs> random shoes sometimes, just sometimes, and then I'd be like, oh man, I shouldn't have brought them. They got all dusty and stuff. <laughs> I was crazy. So I'll bring, I would bring the old ones though, you know? Yeah. Can't mess up the fresh ones, man. Exactly. Can't really mess up the ones you just got. <laughs> I like this, you're yeah, real. I, I missed you. I missed Aww. you too, man. It's I, crazy. Man.